Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So in this video, we are going to discuss about test series. So whatever the queries regarding the test series you are having, that we will answer. You might have started writing down the test series or you are thinking to start the test series. So let's get started with the video. So when you should write the test series, what is the perfect time to start the test series? So the perfect time to start the test series is now. Now you should get started. You might be already done with two or more subjects or you have covered PYQs of one subject. Basically, in one subject, you should be comfortable that, sir, whatever that can be asked in the gate examination. Now I am comfortable with this particular subject. If you are comfortable with that subject, start writing down the test series. So if subject is done or it might happen that PYQs are done. So if you are comfortable with the one subject, then you should be writing down the test series. That's the scenario. Okay. Now, which type of test series should I start? So there are three kind of tests in all the test series. Topic wise test, subject wise test and full length test. These three kind of tests are available. So you should get started with topic wise and subject wise. If you feel like that, sir, I am completely comfortable with the subject. I will do everything in the particular in this particular subject. Then I, will, I can write down the subject, subject wise test series as well. Along with that, I can write down the topic wise test series as well. So topic wise and subject wise both are at the same level. I will get started with the topic wise and subject wise. Then, sir, what about the full length test? So full length test, you will be getting started best case by 1st of January, no matter whenever you complete your syllabus, no matter whenever you complete your syllabus, best case should be 1st of January. Now, a lot of people will not agree with me, but this is the strategy that I have used and a lot of students have used and they got the best possible result. Full length test series, I will write down only when I feel like that if tomorrow they take my examination, I should be comfortable. What I'm saying, when I'm writing down the full length test, I should have the temperament that this is my final examination. I will perform in a manner that I will perform the same in the final examination as well then only I will start, start writing down the test series. And the best case would be 1st of January and the worst case would be 15th of January. After that, you will have plenty of time to write down a lot of full length test. Okay, so don't rush into writing down the full length test because a lot of students are not writing down the test as of now. So you will not be able to, you will not be able to judge yourself that how much you are actually scoring and what is your current position among the gate aspirant. That you will not be able to judge if you start writing it down now. A lot of people will start writing in October or November as well. But the best time would be, I would say, 1st of Jan. 1st of Jan in 2026, starting of 2026, it will start with my full length test. And I will have the temperament that this test series I am writing as, of, as if this is my final examination. Now, the next question would be, sir, does your test series marks matter? Sir, whatever that I am scoring, does that matter? So, simple answer is, yes, the marks matter. Okay. The marks that you are getting, that would matter a lot, but only in the full length test, not in topic wise test, not in subject wise test. Whatever the marks that you are getting in full length test, that will matter a lot to reflect your final position in the gate examination. But your topic wise test and your subject wise test are just there to improve yourself, to let you know what is your current position, to let you know what is your current position in terms of conceptual learning, not in terms of aspirant. Look, in topic wise test, subject wise test, what will happen? Let's just say there is a student who has covered only four subjects. There is one student who has covered only four subjects. And he will write down the topic wise test and subject wise test of these four subjects for sure. Because he has covered four subjects, he is going in the, in the examination with these four subjects only. So he will write down the subject wise test and topic wise test of these four subjects. But in the full length test, he will not be performing well. So when all the 11 subjects or when all the 10 subjects are coming in front of you, how do you perform that matters? Not in these tests. It might happen that some students are good in one or two subjects only or two, three subjects only. They might not be good in 10 subjects. But even if you are average in all the subjects, then also you will be performing well in these full length tests. So your marks in topic wise test and subject wise test, your rank in topic wise test, your rank in subject wise test, even you are getting two marks, three marks, you are getting AIR 1, you are getting AIR 50, you are getting AIR 100, doesn't matter at all. What matters the most is where I am lagging. You write down the test of transient analysis, you get to know that I am not getting a good marks. That means I am conceptually lagging. That's it. I need to improve my transient analysis. I have plenty of time left. I will come back and improve it. But in the full length test, you will be going with the temperament that, that, that sir, this is my final examination. This is the final examination that I am going to write. And uh, with that temperament, you will go and you will perform well. Okay. And I will just be honest here. When I wrote down my full length test, first full length test, I wrote it down on 1st of Jan only. I got AIR2. In that particular test, it was a live test. Okay, people were attempting this test live. So I got AIR2, and eventually my final rank was AIR27. Okay, so I'm just telling that yes, your marks do matter. You go with, you go to a ranker, just talk to him off the camera and ask him what was his performance in test series. 
he would say it was very good it would matter but in the full end test not in the topic wise test or subject wise test you might mess up your topic wise test in, in topic wise test believe me guys out of 50 i have scored 9 marks as well 9 marks out of 50 that too during september or october okay these marks i got nearly around september or october are you getting this point so that kind of mess up i did in the topic wise test that's why these topic wise test and subject wise test are very very important they are like the practice session before the final test match this is the final test match and these are the practice session so practice session will matter a lot because in the practice session you will build up you will work on your weak areas are you getting this point so your marks do matter so that's why i said that you will get started with the topic wise and subject wise test series and later on you will move to full end test now you would be saying best way to improve the marks so sir tell us some strategy to improve the marks so believe me guys there is no strategy to improve the test series marks the only strategy is learning you need to learn and you will improve the marks sir today i was comfortable i was completely comfortable with the with the analog electronics i studied from the best possible educator i got sir 5 marks after 25 sir where i am lagging how should i improve my test series marks how should i strategize my test series so the simple answer is there is no strategy to improve the test series marks the only strategy is you need to learn again if you are lagging in a particular subject that means you are lagging in the concepts not in some strategy you might have studied from the best teacher he is best i am telling you i am not telling anything against the educator he might be the best he might be the best for 90% of the student he might not be best for 10% of the student and you belong to that 10% i am not saying that if you are studying from me then you will be 100% scoring you will be very good at that no even my students may lag some other st educator student may also lag every single student has different kind of capability if you are not scoring well that means you belong to that 10 percent of the students you need to improve your concept more and that you can surely improve there are a lot of resources available or you can go back to the same kind of educator as well you can go to the same educator you can ask him sir this is where i'm lagging how should i improve it then he can suggest you something right or you can ask me as well i will surely answer on telegram group okay so the only point is don't look for strategies that first i will attempt easy question tough question don't look for these strategies the only strategy is that you need to improve the concept if you improve the concept and then again go back to the test series believe me your marks will improve okay so this is the bottom line and the second thing is like if you have studied the subject in a good manner then let's just say in test series there are 15 questions so out of 15 you will feel like that i can attempt 13 questions and i i can get it correct if you have studied the subject in a good manner then at least 13 to 14 question you will feel like that i can get it correct but once you start attempting the question you feel like that sir i am lagging i will not be able to get the final answer let's just say there was a particular question i saw it and i thought that yes i will be able to attempt it then i started att attempting it and somewhere i am stuck so now important part would come don't take this question on your ego don't take this question on your ego okay just leave this question and go ahead at that time you will feel like that sir i have spent five minutes of time now what if sir i spend two more minutes and i will be able to get the correct answer or what if sir i spend three more minutes i will be able to get the answer at that time you, you will feel like this because you have given five minutes to this question you have given your precious five minutes but still you have to tell yourself that bro you have to attempt other questions as well you need to collectively perform in the test series so let's move to the next one now believe me guys in the end when all the questions are done and you will come back to this particular question believe me guys you will be able to solve it in a much quicker manner it happens what i am saying i was attempting a particular question i felt like that i would be able to attempt it but still i matched up what i did i moved to the next question just everything was done i again came back to this particular question and now i was able to solve it this will happen for sure try it try it once and this will happen happen for sure because what happens is that when we when we move to the next question and i have dropped this particular question in the back of my mind in the back of my mind which is not conscious in my subconscious mind this question is still running and i am finding the answer of this particular question although i am solving the next question my all the concentration is on the next question but my sub subconscious mind is still processing this particular question and he will be able to solve it and once you come back you will also be able to solve it this is what happens so this is the only strategy to this is the only strategy that i tell to all the students that even if you are given 5 minutes 6 minutes and you feel like that you are stuck then move to the next question don't give any question more than 5 minutes in any test series more than 5 minutes giving more than 5 minutes to any particular question is not worth it okay so this is the only strategy and i don't think you can uh, you can 
get the difference between easy question or tough question. Like let's just say some question is coming in the examination, all three questions are written. Just by looking at the question, will you be able to tell me that the, sir, this is the easy one, this is the medium one, this is the tougher one. Just by looking at the question. Believe me guys, just by looking at the question, the question that you feel this is the tough, it will be the easiest. Okay. And the question that you feel easy, it might be tough. Just by looking at the question, let's just say there is some big diagram, you feel like that this is tough. Actually, this would be very easy. So, just by looking at the question, we can never tell if we have studied in a good manner. But just by looking at some particular question, like I, was, I remember in my gate 2022 examination, there was a question based on EDC, on basic semiconductor physics. Okay. On basic semiconductor physics, that was actually very tough. Just by looking at the question, I got to know that it is tough. I will not be able to solve it. So, I dropped it. Directly, just by looking at it. I did not even read the full. Uh, I wrote the full statement, but I just got to know that it will take a lot of time. I will have to use my brain. So, I just dropped it. And it was actually very tough. Okay. So, hardly 2 to 3 questions will be like that. In 65 questions, hardly 3 to 4 questions would be there that just by looking at the screen, okay, this will not be solved. You can drop it. But 90% of the question you will feel like that, sir, I can still attempt it. So, differentiating between easy, medium or tough is actually a tough task. I don't think if I had been a student, I would be able to do it in an easy manner because it would be a tough task. Because if I have studied in a good manner, if I have studied the subject in a good manner, then every question would feel like that I can attempt it, right? So, if you are able to differentiate that it is a tough question, then you can drop it. Otherwise, you can proceed attempting the question. And the second suggestion from my side is that don't give more than five minutes to any question. If you are stuck, you have to tell your ego that don't come in between my exam and me. Your ego should be kept aside and you have to move to the next question. And once you are done with the whole subject, once you are done with the whole question paper, you will come back to this particular question which you left in between and you will be able to solve it in a much quicker manner and in a much efficient manner as well. Is that okay for you? Is that good for you? Surely it is good for you. Now, which test series to buy? So, you can buy Prefusion test series. Sir, you are the educator of Prefusion. That's why you are say saying it. Yeah, this is one of the reason that I am an educator of Prefusion. That's why I'm saying it. But there are other reasons as well. I will show you the test series and then you will realize why I'm saying so. Other test series you can also buy. One more test series you need to buy. So, there is ME or there is ACE. So, any test series you can buy. Okay. Or if you feel like that, sir, I have more than enough time. If you have done more than five subjects, if you have done more than five subjects, then all three you can buy. Okay. Or you can go with one of them. Both are very good. You can go with one of them. And let me show you the Prefusion test series, why I'm saying so. So, let me show you the beauty of the test series. So, when you go to this test series, the first thing is there are topic wise tests from each particular topic from each chapter. Okay. What I am saying is that on basics of network, there is one test, basic of network, network theorems, basic of network, network theorems. So, mostly you will see that there will be two topic wise tests and then there will be one full length test. This is what happens in a lot of test series. But what we have done is that from each particular topic, from each chapter, we are framing problems. So, that is why there are a lot of tests available. And I have set up the time as well. Like if I talk about this test series, there are 11 questions and 15 minutes. Because I feel like that these questions are tough. So, students would take more time. 13 questions, 55 minutes. 15 questions, 45 minutes. 15 questions, 45 minutes. So, here I feel like that they will be able to attempt it in a quicker manner. Right? Here remaining attempts are zero because this guy has already attempted the test series. Okay? That's why. So, in that manner, the questions have been set up. And you can see that a lot of tests are available. Then, Topic wise test series you would see, then there comes the full length test, then MOSFET, OPAM, BJTs, then full length test 1, 2, 3, then coming to digital electronics, these kind of tests are available. And I, and I, I can show you the like results as well. This guy has attempted this transient analysis test. Okay. So, this is how the results will be shown. He got only 2 marks, his rank is 37, percentile is 47 percent. So, you can see that roughly around 70, 80 students have attempted it, right? more than 78, 80 students would have attempted it. So, out of 80 students, he is getting 37 rank on 2 marks, 20 marks question it was. Okay, so, uh, correct question, he wrote this one. So, you would click on see full solution and you will get the video answer. Now, video this is a very interesting right. problem and this is similar to, somewhat similar. So, this video solution is available from my side. In For all the questions, for each particular question, video solution is available. And I am just uh, like showing you, the, showing you the level, like unattempted test we can go. So, this is the level of the test series. You can see the level of the questions. Like it is not a POIQs or anything like that or some conventional level problems. So, a lot of things you will learn here. A different kind of feeling you will get. When you attempt these questions, you will feel like that so they are lengthy. Well, but when you go to the solution, you will see that they are very, very conceptual. And uh, within no time, like, you so can attempt one, these kind so of. This is very, very straightforward. And within no time, you can attempt these kind of problems. So, 
that's why video solutions are also available and in, in between the video as well i will tell you that you can refer this particular resource on youtube and get the solution of this particular question and understand the concept of this particular question so that kind of a feeling i have put when we made the test series and all these questions are designed like mostly 70 to 80 percent of the questions are designed by me and anisa only because these questions you are not going to get anywhere right it will not be in some workbook it will not be in pyqs like these are it will come to you you have to think a lot and then these kind of questions will be designed okay you see this kind of capacitor two capacitor three switches register register is there you would see sir the, the gate will not ask this kind of tough question but any day they can ask believe me this particular circuit has been asked this particular circuit separately has been asked and this particular circuit separately has been asked these three circuits separately have been asked what i did is i just combined all these three, all these three circuits then first switch is being on second and then third and when one of the switches is on other switches are off so this kind of conceptual understanding i have put here so once you attempt this test series all your concept will be clear okay so that kind of effort we have put so yeah and along with that there are a lot of free tests available okay this is just one test so when you go here a lot of free tests will be available a lot of tests are free okay those attempt them these these are logged but free tests are also there so you can watch these free tests and you will be understanding that uh, what kind of level they have put okay so yeah you can simply go to our website and you can click on this test series option you go to our website which is prepvision.in and then you click on this test series option you click on this test series option and then here you will get fusion test series okay so that test series you will get i will put the link in the description box as well so yeah that's it about the test series this is about the promotion and our price of the test series is 1199 but we are running a offer currently fusion you will get 10% off so what it will be it will be reduced to roughly around 1.12120 so it would be roughly around 1.08k okay look i cannot go below than that right because a lot of tests are there a lot of questions are there video solutions are also there so you can apply this code fusion you will get it in roughly around 1000 rupees or let's let's make another offer okay just because you people are watching this video till the end so those who are watching this video till the end for them this is the offer test you can apply the code test t e s t and you will get 20% off okay you will get 20% off so what will be the final price test 960 right so in 960 rupees you will get you will be getting the full end test series in the test series signal system test will be available soon okay signal system test is not there edc communication and emft these four tests are not available that i will upload very soon because i am a bit busy as of now but i will surely upload the test very soon along with that in uh, electrical machines and power electronics electrical machines power electronics and power system these tests are not available Anisar will also upload it very very soon. We are currently working on it. We will soon upload it. Rest all the tests are available. A lot of tests are there. You can attempt those tests and you can analyze your performance. So in 960 rupees, you will be getting the test series. You can apply the code. Otherwise, you can go with the other test series as well if you don't want to go with Prefusion test series. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. That's it about the video. So this offer will be applicable till 6th of August. Okay. 6th of August, 11.59 p.m. So this video might go today as well or it might go tomorrow as well. So I am recording this video on 5th of August, right? This is 5th of August only. So this will be available on till 6th of August, 11.59 pm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Happy learning. If you are having any, any other query, you can write it down. Thank you.